All right, we are back with um, an update on the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro. And guess what? I'm one of the lucky people to end up with a defective trigger. Uh, this one's fine, but the right trigger uh, became limp. Um, so that was not fun. Um, I was very disappointed when this happened. I mean, as, as somebody who, um, only planned to purchase one, um, gaming device, uh, just getting this. And within a week, the trigger breaking, it's definitely a letdown. I mean, um, I was very disappointed with, I mean, as a brand new customer purchasing this thing, I would not recommend purchasing a Retroid simply because of just this letdown. Um, like you you know as a new customer um you don't expect to pay two hundred dollars for something and then for within a week it breaks it just feels very cheap um and i emailed them february 19th letting them know about my problem they replied february 21st um asking me for pictures I sent them pictures about what the problem was. Um, they replied, so they replied February 21st asking for the pictures. I sent the pictures the next day, February 22nd. And then they took five days. So they replied February 27th with an email letting me know they will send a replacement soon. Um, the email was very vague, um, and uh, it did come in. This box came in, and in it, it looks like we have a back cover and some tools and some springs. Um, but anyways, another thing is these two joysticks on the bottom does get uncomfortable after a while, even with this extra little grip, it is uncomfortable being like this for like an hour, just being down here, very uncomfortable. Um, so this design is not great they really need to move this up here and maybe it will be easier to use but um i would rather have paid an extra fifty hundred dollars for one of the other devices and gotten something right the first time than having to deal with this breaking within the first week so, um, if I can go back, um, I saw a lot of YouTubers praising the heck out of this thing and don't see a lot of videos with this, um, flaw and yeah, um, if I were to go back, I would ignore all those YouTubers that praise the heck out of this thing and go with like um, one of the more powerful ones and hope that it's better build quality than what this is because this is very disappointing.